Hi, and welcome to History Makers TV. I'm Matt Prater. Several years ago, History Makers Radio began. In one night, I got the opportunity to interview Kevin Rudd, John Anderson, Marina Pryor, and Tim Costello. I got to ask them questions about how their faith influenced their public life. And I sent it out to a few different Christian radio stations. They all said they wanted more. So we turned it into a weekly radio program. It's now broadcast on over 600 different radio stations around Australia and the Pacific, and it's podcast on iTunes and downloaded and listened to all around the world from historymakers.tv. We decided recently to turn it into a TV show. Uh, some of you may remember I had a bit of an opportunity to ask a question of Kevin Rudd recently on ABC TV. Let's go to our next question. It's from Matt Prater. Hi, Prime Minister. I'm a pastor of a local church and work for a national Christian radio network. Uh, most of the uh, listeners and callers we've had in our radio station uh, have been saying they won't be voting for you because they're disillusioned, because you seem to keep chopping and changing your beliefs uh, just, just to get a popular vote with regards to things like marriage. Why should we vote for you? Well, on the question of uh, marriage equality, uh, you're right. Uh, I took a uh, position about, I think, three, four, five months ago, well before coming back to the Prime Ministership, because I concluded in my conscience, through an informed conscience and a Christian conscience, it was the right thing to do. And Kevin Rudd has defended his position on same-sex marriage after being challenged by a Brisbane pastor during a TV appearance. For you, Kevin, if you call yourself a Christian, why don't you believe the words of Jesus in the Bible? Well, okay, mate, thank you. Well, mate, if I was going to have that view, uh, the Bible also says that slavery is a natural condition. <laughs> if you think homosexuality is an unnatural condition, then frankly, I cannot agree with you based on any element of the science. And Pastor Matt Prater, who was involved in that feisty exchange with Kevin Rudd, joins us live now from Brisbane. Pastor, good morning to you. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Amelia. It's good to be on Channel 9 today. Good to have you. Now, you got quite a blunt answer to your question last night. Did Mr Rudd's response surprise you? What did you make of it? Did it make you think twice about gay marriage? Well, can I firstly say thank you, Channel 9, for playing the Bible series on TV. I absolutely loved it. And it got a lot of people talking about the Bible. And really, that's what I wanted to get back to with my question last night. Uh, Jesus makes it very clear about the definition of marriage in the Bible and if Kevin Rudd calls himself a Christian why doesn't he believe with what Jesus says in the Bible and uh, you know I work at a radio station we get a lot of calls in a lot of people are disillusioned that Kevin's been changing his view recently uh, on what Jesus says about marriage and I know Tony Abbott holds the traditional view uh, and uh, I just I'm concerned that Kevin has just done it to get a bit of a vote grab uh, to, uh, to change his views just because a few people have pressured him recently. So, Pastor... But, you know, just... you've got to have backbone. You've got to believe in what you believe. And so, just to clarify, Pastor, do you genuinely believe that homosexuality is an unnatural condition? Well, I was asked that question last night and, to be honest, I'm not comfortable with uh, going down that path. Uh, that wasn't the issue that I was trying to raise. The issue I was trying to raise is that I believe the current definition of marriage shouldn't be changed. I think it's a good definition and uh, I don't think we need to change it by le legislation. Uh, and I actually think there's a lot of people in Australia that agree with that view as well. So uh, that's really what I wanted to focus on. All right, look, we have run out of time, so we'll have to leave it there. And it's amazing the feedback we got after we raised a topic about the Bible on TV. Well, that's one of the reasons why we're using this platform of TV, because we found some people that, have, that are history makers, that have got some amazing stories to tell. And that's what we're gonna to bring to you here on this series of History Makers TV. Thanks for joining us today.